I remade every mob into DC and Marvel characters and then had them fight to find out which franchise is the strongest. Let's remake this pillager into Wolverine. First, we texture on the classic Wolverine colors, pull his belt off really quick, and adjust it so it's precise. Of course, we're gonna need some muscular definition here with his extendable claws made from adamantium, which is completely unbreakable metal. Mask for his fearless nature with ear holes that are definitely needed. Let's get into this boxing ring and toss down Wolverine. Looking sharp. Those claws are completely indestructible. Also, look at those abs. He's looking quite strong. Before he goes into battle, let's throw down a Vindicator and see what he can do. It looks like Wolverine is first gonna move around and attack the Vindicator first with his claws back to back, actually in quick succession. This Vindicator is not looking spicy, but what you can see is Wolverine also has the ability to regenerate his health, which means we're gonna need a solid competitor. Let's turn this zombie into Harley Quinn. Harley's completely white, cover her with classic red and black, some lipstick and she also has blue eyes and harley quinn stands out but especially because of her ponytails let's just toss him a little pop of color and her original look also really leans into the joker style and we've got harley quinn with an absolutely massive mallet this thing does not look safe to stand under let's see if that mallet is going to be strong enough to take down wolverine it looks like it's got a serious knockback on it which could help avoid any attacks coming in from Wolverine. Oh, goodbye, Vindicator. This is gonna be a spicy battle. Let's bring Wolverine back in. Harley Quinn, oh, she's already jumping in. It looks like he can't actually land anything yet because Harley Quinn's mallet is hitting him on his noggin with an insane force, knocking him nearly outside of this boxing ring. I don't know if mallets are truly allowed in any official boxing match. It looks like Wolverine's regenerative nature is kicking in, though. I don't know if she's gonna be able to withstand how long he's able to and he's landing hit after hit now it looks like he's able to get the rhythm down but the jump comes in from harley quinn they're knocking him back yet again but those claws are quick and harley quinn is not quite quick enough and down she goes that is one for marvel and zero for dc let's get started on round number two we'll remake this husk into deadpool first we need his red suit to instantly cover up all of his scars and shift it into more of an agile shape while incorporating the black as well. His Deadpool emblem right on his belt. Add a pocket here to hold some of his weapons and his suit covers him entirely. So even the whites of his eyes are just part of his suit. Oh, and he could probably use some feet. And we've got Deadpool who apparently brought a weapon to the fight. That is definitely not allowed. Chances are the thing doesn't even really work though. Oh no, wait a second. It. He is using it. This is really not good. He's actually firing it at the Vindicator. Oh my goodness, Sonar. That did not look pretty. We're definitely gonna need a DC character that can do something about that. Let's remake the Green Lantern from this evoker. For anything we can place on the base to his ring, his suit is almost entirely black, but it contains some of his classic green accents over his shoulders. And of course, the Green Lantern has green eyes with real short black hair. And it's his sheer willpower that powers the ring to create anything. Right dead smack in the middle of his chest, his emblem. And I guess we should toss on some abs too. And we've got the Green Lantern himself. We've given him a couple different options. First, he can fire off his ring to do some serious damage. But second, and possibly more importantly, Green Lantern can summon in one of these barriers that can be used to defend against any sort of shot from Deadpool. And there goes the Vindicator. Let's get right into it. Hello, Deadpool. Green Lantern makes the first approach, knocking Deadpool back. That first shot actually missed, but the second one lands. That is not good, buddy. Put up one of them green barriers. Exchange for exchange. One shot from Deadpool. One firing of the powerful ring from the Green Lantern. This could be a 50-50 chance between these two, but unfortunately, it looks like Green Lantern's ring is far more accurate than this contraband that Deadpool brought in. Deadpool's recharging health constantly. Use your wall, my guy. This is really not looking pretty at all. It looks like he's trying to back up behind his wall, but I don't think it's gonna work out. Ooh, wait a second, though. Deadpool now has been focusing on the 
down he goes green lantern wins a fight for the ages ties it one to one dc on the comeback but we're gonna have to see what happens in round three this enderman could be america chavez we're gonna need to shrink these legs down though to a more normal size then bring the chest down and plug the head back on america chavez doesn't use any super suit at all just her normal clothes blue shirt black shorts and she's got longer almost curly hair then strap on her blue coat with the american flag colors oh and there's also a star right on the back and of course we've got to throw on her pride pin as well and we've got america chavez in minecraft and that jacket she wears looks delicious i'd love to steal that and take it for myself though i'm definitely not confident enough to steal things from superheroes and i especially don't think i'd be able to steal anything from america chavez because she's got an uncanny ability to be able to attack but not only that she's able to teleport through her star Woo even if this vindicator tried i don't think he would be able to land anything on this right here another star teleportation and smack that vindicator eats the dirt let's see if we can whip up something competitive this phantom could be remade into supergirl just need to unplug the head here first and make it a bit more human like then let me grab one of these wings to remake into her super cape long blonde hair and the same familiar super logo which is that kryptonian symbol for hope but supergirl is rocking her gold belt and a red skirt and those red boots and we've got ourselves Supergirl in Minecraft. Those arms sticking straight out with a superhero pose. And here she's off. A, a low floater, I might add. It looks like she prefers to stay near the ground. And she's got some very special capabilities. Supergirl will fly up into the air, lock onto a hostile mob, and fire down her ice breath. Kazam! If Supergirl can land one of these ice breaths onto America Chavez, then she may be able to stop any sort of teleportation that could take place. But there is only one way to find out. And Supergirl takes instantly to the skies, getting one hit along the way, fires off one of the freezing breaths, but America Chavez was still able to teleport and went into the sky to get behind Supergirl. This is, oh my golly, another jumping teleportation. Oh, and what is this? Supergirl's getting sucked into one of the portals and gets annihilated. Head straight back to Marvel to take the lead two to one. Let's get back to the stadium where DC won to go to round four. We'll use this brute to remake Thor. Retexture his head and grab one of these ears to make Thor's helmet with the wing pieces because he's so fast. Righteously gold facial hair and expose these muscular arms that just have his beefy bracers. An absolutely chiseled core with actual metal that holds his chest plate together and also armored leggings. And we've got Thor in Minecraft with his righteous golden beard. If you look closely, you can even see the biceps that we've given him. His power is in his hammer though. Let's pull in some vindicators and test it out. Thor instantly targets this Vindicator, whacks him once, backs up, and throws the hammer at him to call down lightning. It just doesn't seem to be doing enough damage to take the Vindicator down quickly, but the attack speed from Thor is pretty quick, so that could make up for the lack of damage. And down goes the Vindicator. The attack speed and distance could pose a challenge, but I know a great competitor from DC to bring the heat. Let's remake Black Adam from this iron Iron Gollum, starting with putting on his black bodysuit, then add on the gold bracers around his wrist. And he's got a massive lightning bolt down his chest that shows he's a champion of the wizard Shazam. Then Black Adam is also gonna need some massive legs with a lot of muscle, cause The Rock is beefy and The Rock plays Black Adam. We've got Black Adam. This man looks massive. And watch this man move super quick flying around the arena, calling down lightning as well onto every single Vindicator in the area. That was fast for three to go down. This might not be good at all for Thor, but we'll let the fight speak for itself. A slow start. These two lightning-wielding superheroes have decided to engage, and Thor's the first one to call down the lightning. Black Adam finally calls down some lightning. Who can do it faster, though, is the real question. Black Adam will not let up corners Thor into a corner right there. Down Thor goes! Those big, big 
beefy muscles came in handy. Our scores are tied two to two. And we need a new arena to break this tiebreaker. We could use this skeleton to make Hawkeye. Dex drew on a nice chiseled nose with his sleek blonde hair. And he's got a black suit with a purple emblem. And Hawkeye has hearing aids because he's actually deaf. And then he just needs to have a load of arrows. And there we've got Hawkeye. Also bringing in his bow, of course. Let's find out the type of range this man has, though. Plenty of arrows, that one flaming, but he also has an explosive arrow that he can fire. And the rate that Hawkeye is also able to fire all these arrows is significantly fast. A final flame shot that knocks him out. We're gonna need a competitor that can close the distance. Let's remake Hawk Girl from this bat. Change the bat head to Hawk Girl's brains with her mask cover and red lips. And her mask extends all the way out into a hawk-like head cover. Long red hair, golden and red suit, and she's sporting green legs with gold and red boots. And just like all Thanagarians, Hawk Girl has wings. Oh, we got Hawk Girl! She's instantly flying around as well, zipping all over the place. And that speed is gonna be needed. She could zip down and use that mace to knock someone's brains right onto a wall. I mean, I guess we could see it for ourselves. Oh, boy! There goes the swoop and the whack! This could be exactly what's needed in order to not only dodge any arrows but also a swooping hit even if hawkeye tries to get away three hits and that vindicator goes down i've got a strong feeling and i think my bets are going to be placed on hawk girl but the only way you win a bet is by seeing the outcome and hawkeye instantaneously spots her in the sky but hawk girl is the one to take the first hit hawkeye actually hasn't even fired off a single arrow yet but maybe it was a confidence thing he fires off the first shot setting her blaze oh boy oh boy the battle is on another flame arrow comes in an explosive arrow as well shot after shot but hawkeye takes a beating gets slapped against the concrete and hot girl comes out on top dc has taken the lead and we bring it back to where it all started to see if marvel can come back to tie it up Let's turn this witch into Captain Marvel. Adjust this witch hat into her blonde hair. And that face should do. And this Captain Marvel is going to be wearing her Star Force uniform from before she left. Blue, red, and gold. And just slide those boots on as well. And we've got Captain Marvel completely suited head to toe. Personally, I think her Star Force uniform looks great. But I can understand why she left. Of course, she can't leave without bringing her cosmic energy with her. Bam! When she is charged up, she is floating, and that's gonna keep her away from any sort of melee attacks. And there they go, both of them simultaneously. Captain Marvel's looking strong, but I think I know of a great competitor. We're gonna remake this villager into Wonder Woman. First up, her lingua grab tiara that lets her understand any language. Mega long black hair, then her bracelets that are completely indestructible, and her body armor. But she does mainly just use her bracers, blue skirt, and red boots. And we've got Wonder Woman flaunting those indestructible bracers. Of course, Wonder Woman isn't here just to play a defensive role. She's also got a super punch that can knock all mobs back a significant distance. Those fists are sturdy. A double-powered punch going right to the face. Sign our baby. Will those fists be as strong against Captain Marvel? We are about to find out. Captain Marvel takes the the skies right away. Oh, but a jump comes in from Wonder Woman. What was that? A deflection off the bracers. It actually worked to deflect the cosmic blast from Captain Marvel. The advantage that Captain Marvel has, though, is the ability to back up and one hit lands with enough power that Wonder Woman instantly gets annihilated. There's not even a sniff of a particle. That is three to three. Absolutely tied up after six rounds. Oh my word, the only way to break this tiebreaker is gonna be a three-on-three -three battle. Fighting for Marvel, we've got America Chavez, Captain Marvel, and Hawk Girl. And fighting for DC, we've got Wolverine, the Green Lantern, and Black Adam. Which franchise is gonna win? Oh my goodness, wait a second. The franchises have turned on themselves. Black Adam goes 
goes down instantaneously to Wolverine and Green Lantern, and then Wolverine and Green Lantern are fighting each other. Captain Marvel is taking three hits up above, and what's going on over here? America Chavez is jumping up into the sky, trying to attack Hawk Girl, but Captain Marvel and Hawk Girl are now facing each other. There's no way that America Chavez survived that fall. This fight is taking to the upper limits of the universe. Oh my golly! Down goes Hawk Girl, and Captain Marvel is slowly floating down. Will she survive the fall? She does! And absolutely decisive victory!